Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. I'm absolutely thrilled to announce the availability of Drone Pilot Canada version 3.0, including French language support and even more flexibility for loading documents. Let's check it out. Before I get into the new release, I want to remind current users to turn on their backups within the app and record that eight character recovery code. Unless you've set up a team, the recovery code is the only way to recover your data if you lose or damage your phone or get a new phone. Now, if you're in a team, all team devices have the entire data set, so all you have to do is join the team to recover your data. But this is really important, so please take a moment to turn on backups on the data management menu if you haven't already done so. All right, on with the news. French language support. We, oui, Drone Pilot Canada now works in French. All you do is set your device's language setting to French and all the user interface elements and outputs such as site surveys will be in French. I was gonna say this announcement in French, by the way, but I'm afraid my French is so bad you would doubt the quality of the translation in the app, which is actually très bon. This release also offers several features to make loading documents a lot easier and more flexible. For those of you with large collections of RC aircraft, I think so, this will really help. To start with, if your drone or aircraft is not on our list of popular models, you can now enter your own link to an instruction manual PDF. Here's how to do it. Let's suppose you have this cool model and want to add it to Drone Pilot Canada. Let's start with the basics. On the hamburger menu, tap aircraft. Tap add new in the top right. Name your aircraft whatever you want. I'll just call it Apprentice, since that's the name of the model made by eFlight. When you tap on Manufacturer, eFlight isn't on the list, so select Other and type in eFlight. Tap on the model and enter the model name or number. In this case, the model number is EFL37001. Now I can fill in the other information later, so let's get on with the manual. So I click on the aircraft manual and either type in, or much better, paste in the link to the manual, ending in PDF, like that. Click OK. Now, from a regulatory perspective, online access is perfectly acceptable. And we offer this method because instruction manuals can be pretty big. So you might not want to fill up your phone with the PDF file itself. But if you prefer, you can download the PDF to your device so you always have local access. Just tap here and select download. Easy. There's further details in the user guide available from dronepilotcanada.com. Now, if you already have your instruction manual downloaded from somewhere and don't want to have to figure out the URL all over again, there's an easy way to simply load the PDF PDF itself into the app? Well, two ways really. There's the classic method, just send the PDF to yourself attached to an email. When you tap on the attachment, choose Drone Pilot Canada as the app to, well, process the file, then follow the instructions. This still works exactly as before. But now there's a new method. The new method available in this release can be applied if you already have the file on your phone or tablet. Go to your aircraft by tapping the hamburger menu, then aircraft, then pick your aircraft. I'll pick the apprentice again. Now, tap on documents. Tap upload new document. Now, if I had properly uploaded my TC registration document, it would already be here, but you can see that that slot is empty. Something to do later. But for now, Tap Create a New Document Type, since we want to upload the instruction manual. Let's call this new document type simply Manual. Hit OK. And now we can see the document type showing on the list. And by the way, this document type will now be available for all of your aircraft. Tap on the slot for Manual, 
and you can navigate to wherever you stored your instruction manual. Here it is. Tap on the document, and boom, it's loaded into the app. Under Manual, the date and time you uploaded the file is displayed. Tapping on that again allows you to open the document to view it. Simple. So now you can load manuals with custom URL links, or by sending yourself the PDF in an email, or by loading the PDF directly from your device. But wait, there's more! In this release, you can also associate pictures, text files, or PDFs directly with crew, aircraft, flight records, maintenance records, or even just load them as general documents. Each of these works the same easy way. So I'll show you how to do it for aircraft, and then you can try the others yourself. Let's load a picture of that apprentice aircraft into the aircraft record. Navigate to the aircraft and tap Documents. There's the manual we just added, but let's add Picture as a new document type. Tap Create New Document Type. Call it Picture or whatever you want. Hit OK. Tap the empty picture slot. Navigate to the picture you want to load. Here it is. Tap it. And bingo, now you have a picture of your aircraft right in the app. And if you want to change it, go to your documents, select Upload New Document, select the document type you want to replace, in this case, Picture, select your new picture, and you're done. And of course, if you've set up a team with multiple devices or perhaps teamed with colleagues you work with, all these documents are automatically synchronized with the other devices. And like I said, you can do this for your crew, aircraft, flight logs, maintenance records, and general documents as well. There you go. Drone Pilot Canada version 3.0, French language support, the ability to specify your own links to instruction manuals, and the ability to load PDFs, images, and text files directly from your device into the app. Awesome new features, and they're all available for the low, low upgrade price of, oh wait, they're free. <laughs> like always, any new features we come up with are free for owners of Drone Pilot Canada. Drone Pilot Canada is available for purchase from either the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. When you buy the app, you can use it on any number of your devices on the same platform, either iOS or Android, as long as they use the same Apple or Google account. And the team management feature allows you to sync your data across multiple devices, even across platforms like iOS to Android or vice versa. We also keep the airspace and aerodrome data automatically updated with CFS and DAH updates every 56 days, again, for free. The app includes stock, TC-compliant checklists and procedures that you can tailor any way you want. It offers one-touch airspace assessments and the ability to easily produce site surveys. No TAM zones show on the map with full details for things like no-fly zones. And if you're going for your advanced RPAS certifi certification, we even include a list of flight reviewers who will happily offer you a 5 to 20% discount if you mention you use Drone Pilot Canada when you book your review. It's an amazing app, whether you're using it for drones or RC aircraft. It's a super easy way to help ensure your flights are safe and compliant to Transport Canada requirements. Enjoy the new features in Drone Pilot Canada version 3.0. Safe and happy flying.